a lot of people today um, will never learn how to push the limits because they don't even know what the limits are. Like you, you mm-hmm. in, in, in a, when, I, when I would see trainers, when I see fitness competitors, to me, I'm watching how everybody eats and how they work out and the barbecues they have to say no to and say, it smells good, tastes good, mm, but no. What? Big time discipline. Mm-hmm. So you, ha- you have a very, even though it's very individualized, but it's also a very highly disciplined type of sport. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what I got from it. And that's what I, I had to, you know, talk a lot of my friends and family. And of course, then now the social, the social media grew when I started. <laughs> that was when Instagram came out. It was yeah. 2011 when, yeah. I, when I first did my show, my first show. 2012, Instagram's taken off. And yeah, you got a, you've got a lot of people that question the odd Ha- the odd uh, lifestyle of bodybuilding, right? But you know what I run of building, yeah. we're building, right? right. We're, we're trying to stay, you know, as healthy and as presentable as possible. Um, but the, the whole thing is, <clears throat> it's not just about the body that you're building. It was about my daily habits. Now, in my twenties, man, I was a dude. I had been, I built up to where I'm training right alongside hall of fame wide receivers donald driver you know so train cool. along him. he's right here now he's up in uh yeah flower mound right uh-huh. yeah. yeah yeah i did some sessions with him in in flower mound when i was a trainer and, and, and a bunch of other cowboys there's been some cowboys that have come by my house and train with me that's great um so uh, cool man. cowboys you know quarterback not dak uh ben denucci um you know, Jamil, Jamil some Flower, uh, Showers. Yeah. 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 Uh, Kayvon Frazier's right there. Kayvon, yeah. My, yeah, yeah for you know, sure. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I'm, but in my 20s, I was working out with those guys. Yeah. Like, I mean, wow. I, I could work and I could train. I was nonstop endurance, strong. And so that's, you know, that's when I realized is that, you know, if you put in the work physically, yeah. Yeah. you just like in business, you put in the work. Yep don't ever doubt what you can become mm. like because but mm-hmm. if you're not doing the work every day you'll never know yep. and if you don't have the belief like i never had a belief like oh yeah you know what i'm gonna be an ifpb pro and one day i'm gonna get type 1 diabetes and one day i'm gonna you know be on covers of magazines and one day you know mm-hmm. make all this money and i'm gonna have you know multiple houses and i mean that that wasn't that wasn't my thought process it wasn't yeah. my goal it was just First thing, I believe this is what God wants me to be doing, is operating at a high performance and helping other people operate at a high performance. And if I do that, I go to sleep happy every night, and I, I can change a few lives at a time, great. Well, that's what's funny. God equips you for what, for, for what you're going to be doing down the road. But you're not going to be equipped if you're not yeah. doing all the things you know you should be doing. Yeah. And so that's like in my 20s, and I'm 43 now. But in my 20s, when I'm working out so hard and training, I mean, and, you know, I'm not making a ton of money. Uh, I think I'd made up to 100000 one year, and I thought I was rich. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I, could, I could do cool stuff and buy stuff. I had a cool apartment and a cool truck, and I, I thought that was big time. But all that was equipping me, all that hard training and working with CEOs and, and, and high-level people equipped me for, mm. boom, Instagram launches in 2012. I had just been sick for a whole year where I had lost it all. Mm. I lost money. My uh, a relationship got dumped because I lost the money. My car, I lost my car. Mm. Car got repossessed. Had to move out of my apartment. And I lost, you know, most important thing, my health and my confidence. Mm. But during that time was also when I went back to God because I was falling away. I had fall, completely fallen away uh, in my late 20s with, with a lot of partying, drugs, yeah. Uh, I was focused on the wrong thing and boom, but all, all those things in my twenties equipped me to when I got healed and I figured out what was wrong with me, you know, disease wise, I just sprinted like all the, the every, Amen. yeah, I sprinted straight to success. It was literally, I couldn't, every day I couldn't believe the opportunities that were coming my way and that wouldn't have happened. And I wouldn't have been equipped yeah. had I not done so many things right in my 20s wow. you know? like you'll go through these valleys yeah you will you, you everyone's gonna have valleys you know and but the depth of those valleys det- is determined on you know how you're aligned yeah. with, with with the spiritual side of things with god yeah the, the, the mountains inspire us but the valleys mature us Go.